Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Brandon Racco's Beer Adventures. I'm Brad. Um, I don't know where Racco is, and he's running around somewhere. Anyways, so today we're going to talk a little bit about Kentucky. And we are going to try a Kentucky beer today. Um, as those of you who've watched us before know, um, my wife and I were born and raised in mid-Michigan, Flint area to be exact, and we spent the first half century of our lives there. Just a little less than four years ago, we were kind of tired of the whole Michigan thing. We were tired of the snow and the cold, and so we bought a house in Paducah, Kentucky. We came down here, looked at a bunch of houses, found one we liked, bought it, went back to Michigan, packed up our house, sold a bunch of stuff in a big yard sale, loaded up a U-Haul, and moved to Kentucky. Put our house up for sale that very day. And now, here I am. <laughs> so, anyways, um, one of the things that surprised me when I moved down here, I didn't know that much about Kentucky. We had visited a few times. My in-laws had retired here probably about 30 years prior. So we had been here, but we didn't know that much about Kentucky. The only thing we that I knew about Kentucky were kind of the preconceived stereotypes that most northerners have about this state, the, the bluegrass state. You know, it's, it's moonshine and bourbon and hillbillies married to their cousins. Well, the moonshine and bourbon part is real because there are distilleries everywhere. There's big ones, there's mom and pop ones. There's one a mile from my house that they make moonshine and bourbon and I have one of their bottles of bourbon in my kitchen and every now and then it takes a sip and it's fantastic. It's fantastic. The hillbilly married to their cousin part, okay, that might be over on the eastern side of the state in the hollers. Not so much here. <laughs> Anyways, so today's beer it comes from Falls City Brewing. This is in Louisville, Kentucky, and it is an IPA, and it is called Hipster Repel. Now, what do I think, what do I imagine when I think of a hipster? I think of some dude probably living, living in like Portland or Seattle, and he's got a long beard and a flannel shirt and suspenders, and he's drinking a Paps Blue Ribbon, and earlier that day, he probably bought a $9 soy latte from a coffee shop made for him by a guy with a Colonel Sanders goatee and a liberal arts degree. That's what I think of. Now, in Kentucky, if you see a guy who's got a long beard, a flannel shirt, and suspenders... Most likely, sometime that week, he had been in the woods, and he killed something and fed it to his family. While liberal, while uh, hipster guys probably never changed a tire in his life, Kentucky guy, who looks pretty much the same, can fix his own damn truck. And he probably made that part he needed out of some stuff he got from his old tractor that doesn't work anymore that's out in the backyard. So, there's a difference. <laughs> so, anyways, here we go. Fall City Beer. Um, Louisville, Kentucky, and it is called Hipster Repellent, <laughs> and it is an IPA. So, um, before, before we get started, if you like our channel, hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell, uh, let Ro leave Rocco and I a comment, let us know what you think. If, if I can find, you know, if I can find the beer that you request, we'll try it. And our, our liquor store has a pretty good selection of craft beers and imported beers. If you don't want to do any of that, that is fine also. Um, that's, that's fine. Uh, we're, we don't do this for money. We're not monetized in any way. We do it for fun. We buy it. We try it. Let you know if we like it and let you know if we don't. And we will tell you why. So, without any further ado, here we go. Fall City Beer Hipster Repellent. IPA. We're going straight from the can. And here we go. Hmm. Okay. Okay. You know what? It's pretty good. Um, as most of you, if you've watched me before, you know I'm not a huge IPA guy. This one isn't bad at all. 
Uh, it's it actually has a bit of flavor to it. It does kind of have that piney taste. It's you know the IPAs have hint of bitterness. It's not super bitter like some of them, and it doesn't have any crazy flavors in it. It just tastes like an IPA. So yeah, Fall City beer, thumbs up. Um, hipster repellent. I might drink this one again. Honestly, I might drink it again. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Anyways, we want to thank you for watching. Rocco and I really appreciate it. You take a few minutes out of your day, coming out here, hanging out with us, and it, it, it means a lot. And if you notice the camera shaking a little bit, that's because the stand it's on. One of my cats jumped up there and <laughs> it shook a little bit. <laughs> so, that's, that's what happens when you have a house full of rescue animals. <laughs> So, anyways, once again, thanks for watching, and as always, keep drinking the good stuff, and we will see y'all next time.